What's going on, everybody? Uh, happy Tuesday. This is a- another episode of the Countdown City Geek Cast. My name is Ted, a.k.a. Steady. Joining me from the Legacy of Nerd, you know, Daniel. What's up, guys? Samuel casting tonight on Countdown City Geeks and the Legacy of Nerd Facebook and YouTube channels. So you guys should be seeing me from way different places tonight. The chat is already on fire. If you're here, say what's up. Uh, on loan from the WrestleCast, you know Tommy. Wait, today is Tuesday. What am I doing <laughs> on this show? No, I'm kidding. It's on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's throwing me off, too. We never stream on Tuesdays. It's all Yeah, I, yeah. And this you... all the time on the GeekCast. Whenever we do that show, I'm like, wait, what day is this? I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> Last but never the least, the one and only Retro Ray. Going on, guys. This is a special night because our guest is very special for this yes. 30th anniversary. Absolutely. And oh, look, Daniel's already. Oh, there you go. I got he's, my he's lights. Got a, I got my lights. Setting the lights. He's setting the lights. Setting the mood, guys. Setting the mood. If you're in the my, chat, I got, I got say right what's up. Wrong, if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my we, God. We got you, Mega Demon. We got K Quinn. We got LeBron Fett. We got. Dave's dimension and chat's definitely on fire. Ranger restoration and repair. All you guys oh. are awesome. Pike Speed Gamer. If you guys have been following fire. us since the beginning of this year, it's been all and everything Power Rangers from conventions to interviews to uh, collectible reviews. We're not stopping yet. The 30th anniversary is just around the corner, and we're going to celebrate with you all by bringing on a, a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger you know her from the original show. You know her from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. You can catch her with other legends on the Netflix 30th anniversary special. Y'all make some noise in the chat for Karen Ashley. What's going on? Hey, hey guys. Round of hey, hey. Thank you for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, it's yes, been a wild year for you guys, I'm sure. Just kind of talk to us about this year and your experiences of like celebrating this iconic franchise. What is this year? What have you been going through so far this year? You know what? It's been a mixed bag. I mean, you guys know, everyone knows it's been uh, the most amazing year because we're, I mean, we're turning 30. Power Rangers is turning 30. And I think everyone from... A Mighty Morphin cast members to, to the cast members that are on the show today. Everyone's so excited and so proud. And I mean, there have been thousands of people who have contributed to making this show. Um, but it's also been the most heartbreaking year for all of us. I mean, we lost our, our very good friend, Jason. And it's just crazy. It's just one of those things that I think um we've all just kind of like tried to catch our breath and we've also just been like it's reminded us that we've got to live in the moment and we got to enjoy everything and hug everyone tighter when we see them and you know it's it's kind of been a love fest because we you know we just got to kind of love each other through this thing we call life you know it's just been crazy um but thankfully we've all been together and we've all been able to like hang out and just you know, really take this year in. So I, I feel very blessed, but it's, it's kind of like bittersweet. Like it's just, it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know any other way to describe it. What was the feeling like when you got the call or email? I, I've, I've talked to a lot of Rangers and they get contacted different ways, but when you got the call or, or email, we want you back for 30th. Like what was going through your mind? You know what? I did it. I kind of got the call and then I didn't get the call and then I kind of got the call. Like they've never been like the the nicest franchise. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's funny because we I got the call, but it was like I got it and then I didn't hear about it for months. Yeah. And so I thought they literally they've called me every two years for the last like five years and they'll be like, we want you back. And I'm like, okay, I'm I'm available. What are we talking? And then I don't hear nothing from them. Or they'll yeah. say, uh, yeah, we, we're not paying you that. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, so it's really weird. Um, but this year I got the call and then I never heard nothing back. So I just assumed it was the same as the years before. Um, 
And then they called and they kind of made myself and another cast member and they were kind of giving us something different than what they were giving everyone else. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it. And I think that threw them for a loop because I was like, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> That's awesome. And, but I will say this. One of the one of the producers, like I just had a like I probably had the most honest conversation about how I feel about how they've treated some of us and and how I would been offended <laughs> every two years. And I just let it all out thinking, oh, they're going to hang up on me. And she was like, I'm so sorry. And I just was like, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to go on with my life. I'm not going to do it. Good luck. Have fun. And literally within two hours, she called me and she goes, everything that everyone else is getting, you're getting, can you come? And I was wow. like, absolutely. Nice. And, awesome. and it was, it was like, I told everyone, I said, this is my year for asking for whatever the fuck I want. Amen. You deserve it. They yes, might just tell you yes. They might <laughs> just say yes. yes and yes. I ended up going to New Zealand. I had the time of my life. Awesome. It's a beautiful episode, guys. I just saw it last week. It's so beautiful. And I just I just have to say, like, I'm glad I, I, I did what I did. And I'm just glad to be a part of it, even a small part of it. Um, but I encourage everyone, if you want the raise, ask for it. Right? <laughs> if, you yeah. want, you know, if you want to go somewhere, ask for it. If you feel like things aren't right, speak up because no one is going to take up for you. And what I will say is that Hasbro, the producers, all of them, they were amazing. They had no idea that I had ever felt that way. They had no idea that the casting agent had done that to me for the last six years. So they didn't even know what was happening. But when they found out, they made it right. That's good. So, because, right. I mean, yeah. one, thing, you hear that? one thing I, I think I've learned from talking from Rangers of many different seasons is that their appreciation is, is not valued uh, that well uh, by, by yeah. some Brands, I won't say whether it's Hasbro, Saban, or Disney, but they feel underappreciated. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not saying it, but you can say. Right, it. Uh, right, yeah. But uh, we do. Well, we what do I will say is this: what I will say is this: is that I think from the beginning, even from when we were on in 1994, you know, 95, they they always would remind us. Like the only reason anyone ever left was because we weren't appreciated and we weren't paid properly. You know, yeah. it was. I mean, it was a hardcore, like, um, it was not a fun job in the respect of dealing with the powers that be. It was fun when we were all together on set and doing our thing, but it was definitely a hostile work environment at times. Yeah. <laughs> but what I will say is that um, I always have felt that they don't appreciate the fact, yeah, they created the show. Yeah, they've written it, they produce it, but we brought those characters to life. Yes, yes, you know, very much so. Tommy right. would not be Tommy without Jason Frank. You know, Billy would not be Billy if David Yost would not have brought that character to life. Aisha would not be Aisha if I would not have did my job, did my work, and brought that character to life. So you always have to, it's almost like there has to be a mutual respect for the creators and the people and the actors and everybody that's in between because it takes a hundred people just to make an episode, you know? And so that part, I, it, it, it hurts my feelings for me. And even to hear the stories now that it's still kind of sometimes that way. And so yeah. I hope they one day just really appreciate what the actors do. And I know some producers do, some of them have, um, you know, but there's definitely been stories where they could care less, you know? I've, I've but, definitely heard them. Uh, ah! uh -oh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I no, was in my car. Good. Live video, folks. Live video. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my car and it's raining. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> technical difficulties, guys. We'll be she'll be right back. Yeah, I'm give her just a second. Give her yeah. just a second. Oh my Unless gosh. Died, that He's was a great fire. stream. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Best oh, part man. of life. Great uh great comments yeah. in the chat. A lot of folks supporting her. And of course, why wouldn't you? But yeah, because hey, yeah, without without, the, without the fans that we have right here on the page, without us who have the money to buy all these toys, you know, they wouldn't be the show. Like they're the reason why we spend our money on all the Power Ranger stuff. 
I'm so sorry. I'm like in my car and I dropped my phone and here I am. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm holding it. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I we're not gonna ask you any details about uh the Netflix special. We're all eager to see it. Everybody in the chat is eager to see it. But what was the feeling like for you getting back on set, seeing your your old pals again, suiting up, doing the doing the poses. Uh, what did <laughs> what did it all feel like getting back <laughs> to it? It was crazy. I mean, obviously the nostalgia was there, and we were. I will say, like, there was a moment we all looked at each other and we're like, "Oh my god!" You know, we're we're back. Like we're on set, and like some of us, like uh, Walter, we've never worked with Walter. You know, and so I was just like. He's like family now because we do cons all the time. And so for me, I was like, this is crazy that we're we're experiencing this. But I, I will say we really had a lot of fun. And we just said, let's just have fun. Let's just do our thing. And, you know, hopefully the fans will love it. <laughs> so real quick, I do want to one comment here was, uh, bro, she teleported. Um, another one here was uh, Kay Quinn was asking for uh, a shout out. Is their birthday, and they were hoping that you would say happy birthday to Kay Quinn. Kevin, happy birthday, Kay Quinn. Oh my gosh, happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I follow you on Instagram, and I, I noticed that you had an early uh, cast screening of Once and Always. And of course, we're not going to ask details, but I, I asked the Cosmic Fury cast what one word that they could come up with when they thought about it. What is the one word that you can think of? when you think of after watching once and always uh sentimental yeah okay awesome it, it's gonna hit the fans in the field i oh. will tell you that like, there is oh, man. i've i've watched i've watched pieces of other reunions um and you know it's always been where a cast goes and they visit you know another existing cast or what our, our cast members come and visit it this isn't like that this is a mighty morphin episode um, the trailer is going to be released in two days. Um, so you guys will get the first trailer, um, on Netflix. Awesome. Um, I but didn't yeah, know that, so that's great. it's going to hit you in the feels and it, um, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, I'm about to say something that I shouldn't say. <laughs> hey, Karen, all I have to say is, you know, you, Steve, Walter, you know, us growing up as kids, you know, us 30 years later being in the situation that we're in. I mean, look, you got Daniel, look at the back of his, you know, now we got the money to spend on these toys instead of having to work allowance to get all this stuff. <laughs> With you, without you and, and, and those guys, we wouldn't be in this situation we're in right now. You guys gave us uh, time, you know, after school, watching the show. Without you guys, we wouldn't have this enjoyment and enjoying it now, especially with people to share with kids, our kids. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. Uh -huh. This Halloween, I had a bunch of, uh, I had a Lord Zed helmet because, you know, I'm a collector. And I was just sitting outside. <laughs> oh, really? I was sitting outside <laughs> getting a candy. And, and kids and kids were coming up to me like, you're Lord Zed. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then one parent came up to me and was like, you're Shredder. And I was like, no, was like that's that's not right. But not I think wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, parents I mean, die, right? <laughs> the parents are my age. They <laughs> should know this thing yeah, for they sure. They should know before the kid, right? Yeah. I know, I know. It's crazy. It's so funny because people, like, the fans are hilarious. Um, They'll come up to me and they'll be like, oh, my God, I'm the biggest Power Ranger fan. And, oh, my God, I loved you and blah, blah, blah. And they'll talk to me for two minutes and they'll go. And on when you were on Zio and I go. Wrong black no, actress. I no. wasn't on VR. <laughs> and so I go, are you really a Power Ranger fan? Like, <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And it's the most, like, I, I make it hilarious. Because I'm like, if you're going to get us confused, I'm going to make it hilarious. Right. But it's happened to all of us. Like, all of us have gotten swapped out for the other. And I'm like, are you really a Power Ranger fan? Because, I mean. Yeah. They just hear well, Power Ranger and they get excited. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think uh, what I'm most excited for your character is to figure out how it all worked out because your character went back in time, you know, was back in time, yeah. ended up in Africa, and now suddenly she's with, with the Rangers again. So technically, she should have never been a Ranger. I don't know. It gets weird. Right. <laughs> we know, right? 
So hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited I can't to see how you get it. I, I know, I, I know, I know. It's, you know, Power Rangers, they don't stick to, they don't really think about the storylines. I think they just do what they do. <laughs> I, I was asking ask Nakia about that, and she's like, you know, it, it happened. Like, I, I, right. I, showed, I showed up, and that's that's how it happened, pretty much. Right. <laughs> Who knows? It's, yeah. I don't know if, I, I'll say this. I don't know if that question's going to be answered in this special, <laughs> but. You will enjoy the special, but you probably will have more questions. We know we are, we know we are getting SPA Aisha. That's what we know. Yeah, I will. I guess that, that cat is kind of out of the bag, right? Yeah. Like, you guys kind of saw that picture. That the first picture yeah. that released was you with the cast in your yeah. SPA outfits. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that I think it's, I think that was a good twist. We, me and Johnny were kind of excited about that. Awesome. And of course, like, we both have written like, a whole spinoff series <laughs> for ourselves, <laughs> but yeah, it'll be it'll be great. And I, I'm just I'm just excited you guys are gonna get this because I feel like Power Ranger fans. I mean, you guys have been with us 30 years. Y'all deserve a wonderful special, and I think this is probably one of the best ones. So awesome! Well, we can't wait. Tommy, you have a question, sir? Yep. <laughs> I just it was just it was one because I I feel like when you look at Power Rangers compared to series, let's say like Doctor Who, which has been around for Denver's just so long. How does it feel for you to be part part of something like that? That big, you know, Power started in the in like early '90s, but to this day, there are fans like us and younger still coming up. And like when we talked to a lot of the actors at More Phenomenal, they said they watched Mighty Morphin, like I did. Brendan Brent <laughs> like said they watched Mighty Morphin like we did. And I they know. said that's what got me into it. How does that feel to be one of the pillars of this whole franchise? It's crazy. I mean, it's so <laughs> funny because when we were in New Zealand, we went, like, we were there and the Cosmic Fury cast had just arrived to start. Like, they were prepping for their new season and we were like, finishing up right our our special and we all hung out one night and we started talking and like they were like yeah we used to watch it and i've heard that before but i was like like ah like how is this possible you could be, <laughs> be my kid like i could be your baby i could be your mom or i, I could be yeah it's so crazy uh and and like we were making jokes because you know jordan looks just like walter and i was like they should have wrote that <laughs> in the <laughs> series I I didn't even, I look didn't at even them they I'm seeing it now. absolutely right <laughs> Me, me and yeah. Tommy talked to him for like 20 minutes and we didn't realize he, it until just he now. He looked like Walter. It didn't occur to me. <laughs> And I like we had Walter's son at a show, and they were like, and I was like, you know, y'all like look alike. Like his real son, he looks more like your son than your real son. But it's hilarious. Um, but no, it, it feels like it's such an honor. Like honestly, guys, I thought I I got a job, you know, twenty. My, for me, it's twenty eight years ago, and I was like so excited to break into Hollywood and have this opportunity. And I literally thought I would never even talk about it again after a few years. And I remember like about 12, 12 years later, um, Jason Frank and Steve called me and said, hey, you got to come to this Comic-Con with us. They want to meet you. They want to see you. And I was like, do they even know who we are? Like, I literally said that. And they were like, uh, yeah, they know who we are. And I went to my first Comic-Con. I actually posted a picture of that um, this week. And literally, it was in 2008, and <laughs> the rest is history. Like I, li every year, I'm go. It's gonna end someday. It's gonna end someday, and then we get new toys, and I'm like, it's gonna end someday. It's gonna end, and then we get I, a special. And it's like, yeah, yeah I, like I literally, I don't I've had some of the best action we figures. We have three here. toys in the last year. <laughs> last year like what is happening well, so yeah. yeah it's one of those weird it's like i i'm i'm in the matrix or something because it's so weird that power rangers is so relevant still for everyone I will, sure i will say when you came to san antonio for alamo city con comic con i i told myself I, if i leave there broke i'm meeting all of you and i did that i said i don't care, oh. how, I didn't, I didn't care what your lines were like i didn't care how much your pictures were I said, oh, I'm meeting yeah. all the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, there's so, a Wonder yeah. Woman sweater. You got, you got yeah. sassy Aisha in that picture. Okay. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. It was the day, it was the best day of my life. It really was. Oh, because thank I, remember, you. I remember I, I remember when the movie came out in 95. 
the second we left the theater, I begged my dad for the Megazords. It took a couple of weeks, um, I, but I eventually got them. But I begged my dad for them because that I because I got into Power Rangers because me and my mom loved that kind of stuff. And when a live action like Godzilla battle came in, and it was in, in America, we were like, "Cool, let's watch it." And we had been hooked ever good. since. I and I just yeah. Watched it, so yeah, so it was it was a dream come true for me to meet to meet all of you guys. It really it really was. That's, that's so wait. amazing. I Honestly, I miss I miss that show in San Antonio. I don't think we've been in since then. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, but yeah, the last time. yeah, it's one of those things where Comic Cons. It's it's such a blessing because you know, obviously, if we met you thirty years ago. You guys would have cried. Like you guys, like kids were like they would cry when they'd see us, or they would not like 100%. they couldn't. Have and so now it's so funny because we meet all of you, and you're literally kids again. And it's like, it, the only difference is you're taller than me, but I see it in your eyes. And <laughs> it's, like, it's, literally, it's literally the gift that keeps on giving. Like I always say, our fans give us way more than we could ever give them because just seeing the excitement and just seeing that from you guys is, man, it's like, wow, I, I did something right. <laughs> you know? We, we, I mean, I think the fandom very much appreciates all of you guys and, you know, whether it be from Austin to the newest Cosmic Fury cast, like it, literally all of you guys are have been so amazing to the fandom and we really appreciate you. And in addition to being uh, the host and creator of the BOP, you are also uh, the creator of your own little shindig. Did you want to talk about that? Yeah, well, I, I do a show. I co-own a show with Nakia Baris and Michael Bioni, and it's called Ranger Stop and Pop, and it's in Atlanta. Um, the show this year is June uh, 16th through the 18th. We're currently planning. I mean, we've got a lot of people coming. We're doing it big. Obviously, Power Rangers turns 30, so we're going to do it big. The VIP party is going to be an actual Power Ranger birthday party. Awesome. I've insisted. I host that event. So I'm like, we are having the Power Ranger birthday party I never had. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. We've got Paul Freeman coming from London, Ivan I mean, we've just, wow. we're, we're pulling out all the stops, and we're going to have so much fun. And well, um, it's just it's Jazz uh, Badwalia, who was just at More Phenomenal. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Jazz awesome. will be there. We got yeah. We kind of did a mixture. Usually we do like a theme, but I mean, obviously we have a lot of Mighty Morphin because it's the 30th anniversary for Mighty Morphin. Um, but we have the Beast Morphers coming. We've got some Wild Force uh, characters coming. Time Force. We've got. Um, obviously, uh, the Power Ranger movie, the Power Ranger movie from 2017, we've got some cast members coming. So, I mean, we're literally oh. kind of giving you a whole taste of Power Rangers and it's going to be a fun filled weekend. So if you haven't planned your summer, come to Atlanta, hang out with us. We'd love to have you guys be there. That, that is amazing. amazing. That is amazing. Awesome. Uh, I know you have a busy schedule, but where can fans catch you next? What, what's uh, the next con on the schedule? I will be in Richmond, Virginia this weekend, and then next weekend I will be, um, well, it's GalaxyCon Richmond this weekend, and then next weekend I'll be at MegaCon in Orlando, Florida. Fantastic. Awesome. Ghosty <laughs> Karen Ashley, when she comes to your city, we want to yeah. thank you so much for joining us. We are thank all you. excited for the Netflix special, <laughs> and you heard it here first. The trailer drops in two days. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ne tune into Netflix. It's going to be exclusively on Netflix. Awesome. But yeah, it's Morphin awesome. Time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. Have a great Bye. night. Thanks again for Thank doing you. this. Sorry Thank for you. the car. I Just swear, you. next time I'll be in my studio. I owe you guys a, a makeup. I'll do it again and I'll be in proper lighting, proper <laughs> studio. I got I'll do it right after once and always, and you can talk everything that you wanted to say here. And okay. then, yes, and then absolutely. You do that. I'll uh, give you guys the scoop. <laughs> uninterrupted. Yes. This is how Hasbro made me feel at this moment. <laughs> 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 Nothing but good things to say. Nothing but good things. They Nothing have good been things. amazing. <laughs> but I'll tell you the dirt if I find some. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you Bye. So much. Thank you. Thank you. That was crazy, wow. guys. Wow. Wow. What's up, chat? Well, guys, you saw... Karen Ashley. 
<laughs> we're we're the center of the Power Rangers universe tonight. We got breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Let's let's kind of recap everything. Uh, she is absolutely spectacular. Um, loved her energy. Um, yeah, for sure. Everybody in the chat, I saw a few questions in there. Believe me, we wanted to to get all those questions, but uh, we knew ahead of time that she was on a very tight schedule. So uh, we promise we will uh, try and get her back on, and you guys can ask as many questions as you want. But uh, while I get into the chat a little bit, uh, Daniel, why don't you tell us how crazy it is that she told us the trailer drops in two days? Dude, like, we, we never... When do you ever know something's coming up on Netflix? Nothing. Like no. <laughs> they they just dropped stuff. We were we were happy to know April nineteenth so far in advance. April usually they'll tell us maybe a month before something's coming on. Like this is everything with Power Rangers has been very unusual when it comes to Netflix, and this is this is huge news. I mean, we're gonna we we just found out two days we are getting the special. Are we getting a trailer uh, for Once and Always, which everybody's been asking for? So for sure. you guys are hearing it here first on the Legacy of Nerd on the Countdown City Geeks, the set Countdown City Geek Cast, WrestleCast. We are getting a trailer in two days, once and always. We're getting our team back. We're gonna see a little bit of footage. I mean, I'm I'm stoked. This is awesome. I'm I'm stoked as well. Tommy, uh you you showed uh, the picture from the first time that you you met Karen. Uh <laughs> I didn't know if you knew I was gonna do that, but it felt like it was I, the right time to pull that one out. I I I, I kind of hope you would. Uh, <laughs> only only because only because legitimately that's that's one of my favorite pictures ever. Like I remember when that they were announced to come down here, and it was it was something I had wanted all my life. Because after meeting Jason David Frank, I said, "Well, why haven't the others come down here yet?" And then mm -hmm. when I was like, Comic Con announced it, I I I was working only jobs at that time. Didn't have a ton of money to spend, but I said I don't give a damn. <laughs> I said I don't care. I do not care if I leave that place with negative in my account. Fine, I'm meeting all of them, and I and, and I didn't get that broke that weekend, but I got real close. I also again don't care because I got her. I met her, Walter E. Jones, uh, Austin St. John, uh, David Yost. Uh, I, think that, I think that I think that was just the fourth there that day, and so oh, that's and so, so yeah, yeah, and like and 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 her her, uh, Tree Trang and Nikia Baris were like th my three original childhood crushes. I like I'm not even remotely kidding. It's like, it's like that 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 I'm sure that's where a lot of my life choices can be traced back to was liking those three right off the bat. So so <laughs> and so that was just like 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 and like she said and she she, hey she wasn't kidding. Oh, sorry. They just dropped. They just dropped the trailer on Netflix. I was just about to say, is Dave? Is right. Dave serious? Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Hold on, hold on. Pause it. Pause it. We're gonna okay. we're gonna pull it up. Uh, oh shit! They, damn, they saw the stream. We're like, <laughs> yeah, they saw the stream. <laughs> they, said, they said she's telling all the secrets. Release it now. <laughs> Drop that trailer now. <laughs> oh my god, guys! Yeah, uh, they they just dropped it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on yeah, I ain't stopping. Oh my He's god! Right, stop it. This is how much Netflix messes with y'all. Like I'm telling you, <laughs> I feel like they knew something was going on tonight, and they're like, "We're gonna, we're gonna scoop them." <laughs> no, they, 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 they were, they were secretly watching the stream, and they said, "You know, I'll screw that. We'll release it again now. Two days, all right." Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to make a video now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the funny thing is that sweater that was right next to her, when I worked at Heroes, um, that sweater we sold to her because it was cold in the convention center. And I asked her about that when I helped, when we were putting the meeting together for the interview. And she's like, wow. oh, I got to look for that. She goes, I think I still have that. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. She's pretty cool. Like I said, you know, when I met her that year, it was pretty cool getting to meet her, getting to meet everybody. Like I said, yeah, just like I, you, you thinking, you know, meeting, you know, the 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 people that you watched every, you know, day after school and stuff like that. You, you know, you yeah. you actually getting to meet them. You don't think it's ever going to happen. Well, that that well, see, that was why me meeting Jason David Frank was such a big deal because he was the first first ranger of all of them that I met because he was the first one I knew who was doing conventions anyway because I didn't really know much about cons at the time. I'd only been to like one before that, I think. And that was because that was also in San Antonio, but uh, and that's because like a lot of wrestlers were at that one. 
So when I heard he was coming, I was like, I, I, there's no way I, I can't meet him. You know, I got I got to meet him. You know, so then I was like, you know, well, if he's coming to Texas, well, who else comes to Texas? That's why I started following all these different conventions and their Facebooks and Twitters and then Instagrams. And I was like, she just texted me the t- clip to the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, we're going to go watch it right now. Yeah. Oh my Yo, this is so I'm crazy. Actually- I'm trying to find the best okay. quality one. So who's, it, right who's the official channel that has it? It's all it's all it's on Netflix's Facebook. Like their act like like their Facebook page is where I'm seeing it right now. Gotcha. We'll we'll do Facebook then. Hold on, I'm gonna send it to you right now. I got the link right here, Ted. She sent it all to right, me. Cool. That is crazy. That is that wild. is true. That, that's insane. I really do. I, I'm not kidding. I feel like they really were watching us and like saying, you know what, just <laughs> Sit, just just air it. Air it right now. <laughs> Completely. I was just watching the first 10 seconds and oh my god, guys. It is insane. Mind blowing. Yes. Yeah. It but it I I I always laugh at people who who because like to me, Power Rangers is a lot like a lot of the cartoons that came out in like the late eighties. Yeah, it, yeah, it was cheesy and colorful and all that, but it was also you could just have fun watching it, man. It was just like it's just that it's just like just that fun tale of you know good versus evil. Let's let's have fun watching that. You know, let's watch the good well, dude, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. The All original, right. the original, original Red Ranger. All right, let's go. Wears me happy birthday. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. All right, go go go. This, yeah. this is it, uh, guys on the stream. Everybody, just mute your mics just to make sure there's no weird yeah, audio okay. interference. Everybody in the chat, uh, I hope you're. As excited as we are, the trailer for the new with well, a Netflix special apparently just dropped while we were talking to to Karen. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's take a look. Lord is back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Yo, I almost legit cried. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even playing right now. That that damn <laughs> music, man. Yeah, for real. The damn music hit. Oh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys a story, but this is the this. Well, I think he just blew out his mic. Oh, it did. <laughs> no, I, I think is it. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you now. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. Yeah, that was Ted. Did it? Yeah, Ted doesn't want me to tell my story. Okay. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube went crazy. So yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> Uh, so when we, when we saw the 2017 uh, movie, it was me. Uh, well, she was, she was my girlfriend, his wife, uh, and and my uh, stepdaughter. And uh, when the Zords rushed towards the city, they played the theme from the 1995 film. I I legitimately jumped out of my seat and like like fist pumped so hard. And I'm sure thinking, yeah, I might have to rethink if I'm dating this one or not. So- <laughs> oh, man, that was so amazing! I cannot wait. Robo Rita doesn't look bad at all. I was expecting something more, I don't know, cartoonish, and it's not bad. It's it's pretty crazy. So Dude. it looks like Robo Robo Rita kills Trini. Uh, is what yeah. I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, that was wild when she said that. It's so just there, like wow. Okay, so there, there's a thing with Alpha there, and it says Bandora Protocol, which is interesting because Bandora was the name of Rita Repulsa in the Japanese Sentai. So they're they're even referencing Ju Ranger uh, from the Japanese stuff, which is cool. Uh, Astro Mega Ship. I just saw another thing on there. Uh, that okay? The, okay. I also ask if you saw the same thing yeah. that that I'm looking, that, I'm looking at uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aisha. Yeah, we're wearing we're wearing you know uh, the suits, right? I think there is even going to is because they're they're going through. They said Power Rangers hit, hit your or get to your stations, and one of them is Astro Mega Ship. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I I don't think we're gonna see more than Mighty Morphin. Uh, so, but. They're referencing that the other teams are still active, which is crazy. So Dude, yeah, time travel. Crazy. You can do so much with time travel, man. That's I why I love time, time travel. travel right now. I, I'm getting a sense that this is uh, something like they killed Trini in the past, and now Robo Rita's come back or something like that. Maybe like an old. So, what, what, what it says, it seems like it's going to go Rita, back. Yeah, Rita dropped that one line that yeah. said. Okay. We're going to stop them from ever becoming Rangers. Okay, so okay, that makes yeah. more sense now. And they and got it could be it could be out of context, but I don't know what else that would mean if it wasn't time travel. So they got the juice bar 
I mean, the quality, I'm just looking back at Back in Angel, yeah, back to Angel Grove, which is awesome. The Megazord yes. is all CGI now. Uh, the quality is a lot better than any Power Rangers episode in the last 30 years. I mean, is, they're you're definitely using high-quality digital here. They're not They're not using the cheap stuff. So it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, man. This yeah. is insane, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to do a video now, guys. So... <laughs> Uh, let's get to the chat. I know everybody's freaking out right now. Yeah, uh, yeah right for sure. Uh, Geek Detective says, I got chills. Are they multiplying? <laughs> uh, LeBron <laughs> says, I'm so happy. Tanya says, fantastic. Uh, Katrina says, wow, that's more phenomenal. Well awesome. done, well done. Well, tonight uh, was definitely an awesome night. Uh, what in the world? Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, LeBron, one Fred, shot. it's so amazing. There you go. Ranger restoration repair. Oh, snap, the Zords. Oh, yeah, that was a fantastic shot. I'm going to try and find that. Real yeah, quick. that was a good oh, shot. Yeah. That was a really good shot. Yeah, that was a badass shot. Yeah, that, 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 ta fantastic. that takes me right back to being a kid. I I remember exactly where I used to sit in my in my parents' living room. Uh, almost directly too close to the TV, which is probably why I need glasses now. Uh, just, just like enthralled at 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 at, at that at that site, like thinking, man, that is the coolest thing I will ever see in my life. That's and awesome. so far, I haven't been proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's see here, uh, Geek Detective. Like uh, Daniel just said, like the nod to Stoka Sen, who did Bendor for Zoo Ranger. Yeah, Zoo Ranger. It's Zoo Ranger. Zoo yeah, Zoo Ranger. She she passed away in two thousand six. Uh, she actually oh, had a role in Mystic right. in Mystic she Force. Did. In Mystic That's Force, right. she had a role. Uh, Rita came back as a purified uh, witch, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that shot's amazing. Yeah, that one yeah, is. that's awesome. <laughs> the power. Uh, well, where well, was you know, that as, as a, well, you know, as a kid, like I, that's probably where I started writing fan fiction. All my action figures, I probably wrote a whole Transformers, Ninja Turtles, uh, Thundercats, He Man, Power Rangers story when I was like six. So I might as well just put that on paper now and just post it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, the video is on Facebook, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I searched there like once or twice and didn't find it the first time. So it's it's really weird. Netflix posted it, I think, on like a a sister account of theirs or something. Oh, okay. It was oh, a little weird. Oh, weird. Dave, you got it, Dave. The new command center, absolutely. I I I, I the re one thing why I asked her about because it really didn't occur to me until we were talking to her. This really does feel like it has a Doctor Who feel, like as far as um, the command center. Well, the command center and the franchise as a whole. I mean, because I I was I I got into Doctor Who right as the tenth Doctor was on his way out, and 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 uh, when David Tennant was leaving and Matt Smith was coming in, and oh, I just yeah. I just like really absorbed it a lot in those couple years before they did the fiftieth anniversary. And I feel like this kind of has the, kind of the same feel of like it's like kind of I don't know what they're gonna do, but I feel like they're gonna do something kind of like similar to the time to to the day of the Doctor. Where they like, kind of honor like kind of all the aspects of Power Rangers so far. I, I don't know. I just have that feeling. Just I mean, I mean, and I could be totally wrong. They're just going to give us the original six in some way, shape, or form. Which, by the way, is not a bad thing in the least oh, bit. No. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not a complaint, by the way. That is a okay with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Even right now with them the, doing the anniversary, bringing back Tenant, that's going to be awesome in itself. That's and, that is going to be Donna. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Be yes. I w I couldn't believe when I heard they're bringing back Donna. I'm 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 in. So yeah. But uh, dude, that just looks awesome. The background. Yeah. But I'm wondering, is are we gonna get Zordon too, or that's the, we the, we'll the one thing? The, the one thing I don't want. Track. Yeah. The one thing I don't want is Zordon to come back. Like really? And I okay. I said this on my live uh the last <laughs> couple days a couple days ago was bringing Zordon back is the equivalent of bringing Palpatine back. Like it just negates Vader's. I, I, I get what you mean. I get what it, you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It negates Vader's uh, sacrifice, and this would negate a Zordon sacrifice. So I do not yeah. want Zordon back. Although, yeah. I mean, they could obviously do anything. But <laughs> so I, I'm not going to lie to you, gentlemen. If they ever sell a toy set of this command center, 
I might have to buy it. <laughs> I may have to go ahead and drop drop them dimes for it. I I ain't, I ain't even lying to y'all right now. I'm just gonna be honest because be, especially especially if, if 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 I get more income sometime soon, the back of my room will look just like the back of Daniel's room. So <laughs> <laughs> to be to be fair, this took years of uh. In, I, uh it, it, Spending it comes to, in, a, in a horrible way. So fair enough. So, well, when, yeah. I, when it comes to Power Rangers, I can be patient as well. So yay! If it takes years to build it up, well, then that's just what it takes. <laughs> years, years, and years of bad decisions. Steve, so. Steve, <laughs> the uh, firefighter. Cardet isn't Steve. Is he a firefighter in real life too? Oh, that's Austin. Oh, okay. is he? That's that. That's so awesome. If, if, if he is, I can't. I also can't remember. Well, compared to my <laughs> no, he's a in real life. He's a martial artist. The the one that was a firefighter was Austin St. John. He was in the military. Yeah, yeah I remember. Which, which yeah. he talked awesome. about in the interview that I did on my channel, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Plug. hey, and and then wrong with that. I do it for my book all the time. By the way, Los Angeles Ronin days. Pick it up. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no Ernie at the juice bar. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, that 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 is going to be heartbreaking to see. You know, yeah. a lot of this is honestly. It's it's going to be one of the moments we're watching it. Is is it's like it's it's it's. I'm glad it's happening, but it's going to be really sad to watch it too. You know. So I'm looking at some of the monsters and the redos of some of the original monsters, just yeah. with like a uh, Robo version of them, which, uh, which is, is cool. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say that. I'm. Mean, I was going. Yeah, I was. I was about to say. Uh, that like so that basically just makes it Godzilla, which again is not a bad thing. <laughs> Not a bad <laughs> no, dude, that's how I got into Power Rangers. I, I used to watch the Sentai back in the day when when I first saw the first Power Rangers. Yeah. I actually was tracking down like the VHS nice. Japanese stuff. And the original Red Ranger from Japan, uh, I had never met him. Yeah. But because I'm friends with Steve, he messaged me on one time on my birthday and then every year since then he messages me on my birthday just to tell me happy birthday that's so cool that is so cool. that's freaking nuts yeah yeah that's why i'm like oh that's weird as shit like i was i still haven't met him he came to houston one time but i didn't get a chance yeah. to go out there the original pink and the original red from super sentai were out there oh wow that's crazy i wish yeah i mean i wish i could try to make that too because the funny part was i didn't know about the sentais until i was probably in high school maybe college because I just didn't have access to like a lot of other information over the internet at that point like that. And, uh, and I just, I just never looked up. But when I, when I discovered it, I, I, I just, I, I always found it amazing how, how even, even though it came from another source, how that's such a cool shot. Um, wait, that's say SPR or SPD. Uh, sorry. SP, I, I, SPA. Oh, SPA. Yeah. Wait, space patrol alpha. Yep. Oh, I, I just got a whole new level of excited. I'm sorry. I forgot what I was talking about. My bad. That's why, uh, that's why we're, we're all wondering, like, our other seasons are going to be involved because it's yeah. clearly, clearly a prelude to SPD. Well, me, so. me, 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 and, me and Mike have a phrase when something in wrestling gets us very happy. We say six to midnight. So, yeah, this is definitely a six to midnight type <laughs> moment. So, yeah, this, yeah. Oh, my God, I cannot wait. When is it, April? I might have to clear my schedule for everything I'm doing that day. <laughs> And tell everyone to not. Talk. Hey, dude, we're gonna have to do a review after it airs. Oh, uh, probably a watch party review. Is the yeah, whole maybe. Nine. Yeah, maybe, we'll be do man. No, we'll be doing that on my channel. I've already been uh, planning that and how I'm gonna do it. And, and what what day is yeah. it? April nineteenth. Yeah, so I I took off April nineteenth. So I'll probably do a midnight to another screen, and then I'll probably be streaming all day long. April nineteenth. It may be like a good twenty four hours. I wonder if channel. I could have someone cover for me that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, I have to say tonight was pretty amazing. Wow. We had some pretty yeah. crazy things happening. Yeah, Karen came in, amazing talking to us. Um, I want to thank everybody on on the Legacy of Nerd End because I'm still seeing we have fourteen people in our chat that have stayed through us, even though Karen has already been gone for about twenty five minutes now. So I want to say yeah. thank you. Um, thank you for. We got the fan club that dropped in in the chat which is amazing is a huge power rangers uh channel so uh I, I got it was pretty cool that we got noticed by the fan club that's a huge huge channel in the power rangers uh community but yeah man that that was awesome um i'm gonna be up tonight for sure so I'll, everybody that's in the chat watch out for my video if you saw me right now i was getting stills ready to go for the video i'm gonna shoot 
that. So I'm going to shoot that here <laughs> right now. So be prepared for that video. It's coming up awesome. uh, probably in the next hour or two, for sure. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is a crazy night. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I managed to managed to join you guys for this. Wow. That this. Wow. Oof. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Let's Power Rangers, once and always. Uh, once and amazing. always. Amazing. Can't believe yes. they dropped it right now. Yeah. Awesome. She thought it was in two days. That's, that's yeah. wild. I swear they were watching us and just like it was, it was just did it just to, just because. <laughs> that's the story <laughs> I'm gonna. That's the story I'm gonna tell. By the way, no matter who they're asks, like, me, that's the story I'm telling everyone. They're like, it's that guy Daniel. He's streaming. Go ahead and drop the trailer right now. Everybody knows Probably. Daniel. That's what happened. <laughs> That's they were like, happened. there's that guy that's like talking to all those rangers. We're gonna mess with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and then they heard Karen say, Oh, two days, do you think? The executives <laughs> put it out he, now. <laughs> he thought he was cool for 10 seconds. This uh, this is totally <laughs> threw him over, man. <laughs> he thought he was cool for 10 seconds. <laughs> Insane. Uh, thanks to everybody who watched again. Thank you to Karen Ashley for, uh, you know, putting us on her schedule, giving us uh, a little bit of time to speak to her, uh, talking about the Netflix special, which is right around the corner. Um, and it's amazing because we've, we've seen a few of the cast already. We saw David, uh, just, you know, over a week ago. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. Can't wait for it. Thanks everybody for watching again. Uh, the trailer drop. We just did an instant reaction pretty much with all of us here and uh, much more Mighty More from Power Rangers content on the way. I promise you, we already got more stuff that's in the works. Uh, so be sure to tune into the kind of city geeks. Be sure to tune into the legacy of nerd and uh, we will see you guys soon. Thanks again for yeah. watching. Have a great night, everybody. It's Morphin time. Peace. Peace. Morphin time.